So let's just see how we can perform deletion in a B plus tree. So here we have given one B plus tree. So we have to perform deletion in this B plus tree and the order of the tree is 4. So here the order of the tree is important because here the order of the tree is 4 that means the maximum number of child that each node can have is 4. The minimum number of child will be 4 by 2 and ceiling of that value. So it will be 2. Now the maximum number of key that any node can have will be order minus 1 so it will be 3. Now the minimum number of key that any node can have will be the minimum child which is 2 so that means 2 minus 1 so it will be 1. So these max child, min child, max key and min key these numbers are very important. Now here in this tree we need to understand that these are the leaf nodes and these are all the internal nodes. Now in the leaf nodes we have all the data. Now here in the internal nodes we have the key indices. They are not data. They are basically used to reach to that particular data. So when we are trying to delete any data, we have to delete from this leaf node. Now if that data also in the indices, then also we have to remove from the indices also. So first of all, let's just delete 43. So first of all, we have to find this 43. So 43 is greater than 23. So we're gonna go right. Greater than 29. So we're gonna go right. And here we have the 43. This node has more than the minimum number of keys. So that means we can simply delete that without any problem. Now we have to check if 43 is in the key indices or not. Because 43 is not present in the internal nodes. So that means everything is good. We are done with the deletion of 43. So after the deletion here we are gonna have only two keys. So let's now delete the key 8. So first of all we have to find the key. So 8 is less than 23 so we are gonna go left. Now here 8 falls in between 8 and 18. So here in this node we have found the key 8. Now because this node has more than the minimum number of key that means we can simply delete that. Now also we have to look for that key in the internal nodes also. So because the 8 is also present in this internal node that means also we have to delete that. So that means we have removed 8 from our tree. So after the deletion here we have the gap. So we have to get the minimum value from the right child. So because here we have only one value. So that means here we are gonna have the value 10. So we are done with the deletion of 8. So let's now delete the key 10. So first of all we have to find the value. So 10 is less than 23 so we are going to go left. And it falls in between 10 and 18. So here, so here we have found the key 10. So we have to remove this from here also. And also from this internal nodes. So after the removal this node is empty. So which is not acceptable because in a B plus tree every node must have minimum of one key. So here also this node must have minimum of one key. So in this case we have to borrow. Either we can borrow from the left sibling or the right sibling. So before borrowing we have to check whether the sibling has more than the minimum number of key or not. So because here we have more than minimum number of key so that means yes this sibling can borrow. So both of the siblings can borrow. For now we are gonna borrow from this left sibling. Now while we try to borrow we cannot just borrow directly. We have to borrow through this parent node. So that means the 5 will be borrowed from this parent node. So here you can see this position is empty. Now this position must be filled with the minimum value from the right child. So because the right child has only one value, that means here we are gonna have 5. So let's now delete the key 5. So first of all we have to find that key. So 5 is less than 23 so we are gonna go left and it falls in between 5 and 18. So here we have found that particular key. So that means we have to delete that from here and also from this internal node also. So after the deletion you can see this node is empty. 
so in a b plus tree each node must have minimum of one key so that means key cannot be empty so that means we have to fill that either we can borrow from the left sibling or we can borrow from the right sibling so in this case the left sibling already has only one value so it has minimum number of key so that means we cannot borrow from the left sibling now if we try to borrow from the right sibling because the right sibling has more than the minimum number of key so that means yes we can borrow from the right sibling now here we cannot directly borrow we have to perform the borrowing from this parent node that means the 18 will be borrowed through this parent node and it will came here now this gap will be filled with the minimum value from the right child so because here we have only one value that means 20 will be here now this position will also will be filled with the minimum value from the right child so because here also we have only one value so that means here also we're gonna have 18 so that means you are done with the deletion of 5 so let's now delete the key 2 so first of all we have to find that key so 2 is less than 23 so we're gonna go left less than 18 so we're gonna go left and here we have the key 2 so we have found the key so that means we have to delete that particular key so after the deletion here this node is empty which is not possible because here we must have minimum of one key now we can try to borrow from the sibling so if we try to borrow from the right sibling here you can see it is not possible because this node also has minimum number of key so now we have left with only one choice that is to merge them together so after the merging here we're gonna have only single key and this 18 will be on the left side of 20 so now we're done with the deletion of key 2 so let's now delete the key 20 so first of all we have to find that key so 20 is less than 23 so we're gonna go left and here we have to go right so here we have found the key 20 so that means you have to delete the key and also we have to delete from this internal nodes now after the deletion you can see this node is empty which is not possible because we should have we must have minimum of one key so this node now try to borrow from this left sibling so here we cannot borrow from the left sibling because here we have minimum number of key and also this node does not have any right sibling so that means we do not have any other way so now we have to merge these two nodes so if we merge them so if we merge these two we're gonna end up with a node with the value 18 so now this will try to borrow from this sibling now we cannot borrow from this sibling also because here also we have minimum number of keys so that means now we left with no other choice to merge them together along with the parent so if we merge them together that means we are gonna have 23 and 29 so now the left child of 23 will be this right child of 23 will be this and right child of 29 will be this node so this will be our final tree after removal of these keys so hope you understand about the b plus tree deletion process thank you